Welcome everybody to Nine's Corner. I'm Nina. Nice to meet you. And if you've been here before, welcome back, my friend. I got some awesome questions from Facebook. I put up a Facebook video and just said, hey, do you want to ask some questions? So I got some good ones and I'm going to answer them now. And if you like magic cake or if you like cake and if you want to know how you can use tarot to help manifest, stick to the end because I have a little magic at the end. And you get to see the farm animals and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you enjoy it. Anywho, let's get into our read. So from my Facebook video, I had Linda, with the support of Bonnie, ask if the DOJ under Garland would, one, indict Trump, <laughs> two, go to jail, three, we would get to see him in a perp walk. Oh, okay, do you see my shirt? Have you seen the Seinfeld show where they do the puffy shirt? If I had one more band here, it'd be a puffy shirt. But, I mean, I love it. And I went to Giant Tiger, and I got it for $3. Like, I picked up, like, three shirts, and I spent $9. I love that. I don't believe in spending a lot of money on clothes. <laughs> Anywho, so let's see. What's going to happen? Will the DOJ under Garland indict Trump? Oh, you have no idea how I'm hoping this is true. This is going to happen. Let's look at four against and most probable outcome. Four against and most probable outcome. Okay. All right. For him is a six of swords going from rough waters to better waters. So I got a feeling that Trump has something in his pocket. He knows something that's going to keep him out of trouble. Then going against it, going against it is the hangman. So, hmm, against it is the hangman. So, you know, people are starting to see this. Like the ones who don't feel comfortable with Donald Trump already, they already feel the want for him to have to ha see justice. And there's a group of people that are starting to realize. And as these things go on, they're going to start realizing it more and more. So. It's a flood of people that are like, you know, we need to secure U.S. But the end result, as of right now, because there's free will and things can change and I could pray. <laughs> but we got the seven of wands, so Trump is going to be able to defend himself. It's not like he's going to be, it's going to be one thing after the other. He's going to be constantly inundated. But for some reason, hold on. We need to look and see why is it that every time we do readings on Trump or I do readings on Trump, I see him being bombarded with legalities, being bombarded by people, but I still see him being able to defend himself, and I just, it's peeing me off. <laughs> I shouldn't mention pee tape around, oh. I shouldn't mention pee around the Donald Trump conversation today. All right, why? Oh, the card just flipped out, and let's have a look. <sighs> I don't know, but we got the justice card. He's being protected by justice. There's something he knows he's got. He already knows he's not going to get in complete trouble. That, yes, he'll get in trouble, but it'll be over his businesses and not necessarily because of his government. Because I, think, I truly believe this. I've said this in other readings, and I truly believe that as much as they'd like to go after Trump, there are two things that are for Trump. One the amount of information that he knows about others, the involvement that he's had with others, and the influence that he has from others can be used against anybody who's in government. And two, I think there's a security risk with Donald Trump. They know, they're know they afraid of him. They're afraid that if they truly go after him and put him in jail, that somehow, some way, he'll have a defense against it. Let's look and see. Will Donald Trump go to jail? Will Donald Trump go to jail yes yes uh, that's a strong yes it radiates huh ace of pentacles it's going to be because of money because of business because of everything going on with trump trump organization stealing lying you know the whole nine yards ten of cups okay if you put these three cards together, the sun is shining and exposing the money laundering and issues. But see right here, I see the 10 of cups upside down. So 
Will members of his family go to jail? Yes. Will they get in trouble? Yes. It's going to be exposed. But somehow, some way, I just still see that that Trump will somehow get away with it. So for Linda's last question, will he do the perp walk? Will we get to see him in hand sh in in shackles? You know what, just a little video. You know what, no, not even a video. A still, a still, a real still of him in handcuffs. Because he's done so much damage, guys. It's, it, when history looks back, he's gonna be looked at in the way of Hitler. It's awful. It's just a milder version. Because God knows what he's done to people prior to in New York, the families, the businesses, the people he destroyed. Ooh! Eight of Swords. I think right now, at this time and place, they're trying to gather all the information. Whether or not he'll go to jail is still up in the air. I think there's a 50-50 chance at this point. That's better than what I've seen before. I'm happy about that. Let's, I think if we put our intentions out there, we can change it. All right, so let me see. What was my next question? So my next question I got from Facebook was, will the old Republican Party and the new Republican Party separate? Will the old Republican Trump and them take over the Republican Party? Like what's gonna happen there? So let's have a look. Four Pentacles, establishing a foundation. This is a woman. This could be Liz Cheney. She might be positioning herself for the leader of the true Republican Party, separate from Donald Trump. We got the Hierophant, which is problem solving. And we got the Three of Pentacles, which is plans. There is a plan. They're trying to, it's gonna be slow to come. I think, it, I think the timing of it being close to the 22 um, elections and stuff, it makes it difficult, but there is a plan. I think there's a high chance you might see Liz Cheney starting a second or starting or representing the real Republican Party and having a separation from Trump and them. I think that's very possible. Okay. And for my last question, I was asked, will the U.S., because of all the variants and because of the lack of vaccinations, will they end up closing down again? Will there be another shutdown? Will there be another shutdown? The lovers. Don't be mad at the messenger, but this is showing me that, yes, there's going to be another shutdown, that the actions of the past are going to catch up. We got temperance meaning the balancing out of what needs to be done it's not it's not ready it's not it's not fixed yet but it's in the process of being fixed so it's not doom and gloom um, but with the temperance card the change can happen but it needs effort it needs proper communication to get people understanding and I got the King of Cups. So on the one hand, I kind of, the King of Cups is always my Biden card. So I feel like Biden's going to have to get out and say, look guys, this is just the way it's gotta be. He'll be trying to get the messaging out. Um, but I also feel that there's a divine order. When you got the King of Cups, there's a divine, magical, universal, um, guide that just guides us along and yes we have free will but there's certain things where the universe will help us along with and I think that COVID and dealing with it will be one of them alrighty so darlings as always I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us and I hope you stick around and watch my next little segment take care bye hi guys welcome to nines kitchen 
If I didn't have a tarot channel, I would probably have a cooking channel. So I have an amazing recipe for magic cake. It's a three level cake that has a custard type of texture to it and it's amazing and it's magical. And I thought while I'm cooking it, I could tell you about some magic you could use the tarot for. So come along with me, we'll pick up our eggs and then we'll start our magic cake. These are still warm. I'm not joking. Hey, Turkalicious, come over to Mama. We're all trying to show off. There's Trump, Ivanka, Jared, Eric, Trump Jr. Mm, I think that's Melania trying to hide her head. <laughs> now that we've collected the eggs, let's go and make our magic cake. Bang into mama. Hello, Sandy lady. She's playing with her brother. Uh, oh my God. Oh no, she's digging up Spock's grave. Should I share this with you guys? Oh no. Okay guys, I got it all fixed up. <sighs> the excitement that goes on in the farm. <laughs> well, life on the farm's kind of laid back. Magic cake is just that. It's magical. A very simple recipe with few ingredients. You will need four eggs separated, three quarter cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, half cup of butter melted, three quarter cup of flour, two cups of milk warm. You need to butter and flour your pan and preheat your oven to 325. So you're going to see me do the recipe, but I'm going to talk about the importance of magic and how you can use tarot. Now, if you don't have a tarot deck, do not get upset. You can create your own tarot card. It's very simple. I'll put an example here. Now, the card that I think is probably best for the kind of catch-all wishes is the Ace of Cups. A heart's desire will be realized with a happy outcome. Now for myself, I like to try to do 10 minutes of a mantra. I generally do Tina Turner. It's like a Buddha chant. But, you know, you can do any word, any phrase that makes you feel good or even just, you know, a syllable. If you could find 10 minutes to be able to meditate and if you have difficulty meditating and if it's not something you enjoy, you can pick or choose a word or a phrase and keep repeating it until you lose yourself in the repeating. I like to use the different chakras. And so I say, I am divine. I am connected. I am expressive. I am loved. I am strong. I'm creative. I am safe. I think the I am safe one is the perfect one for today's crazy world. So you can do 10 minutes. You don't have to have music or you can choose to have music, whatever you like to do. And you can choose any tarot card that suits your purpose or suits whatever it is that you're wishing for. You put out your best intentions and make a wish for that which you want, that which will make you complete. Always remember to wish for your health and always remember to harm none. 
And as always, no matter if I'm in the kitchen, outdoors, in the garage, or in my nine room, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. And until the next time, guys, cheerio.